12 now on your Friday morning and a Colorado property manager has agreed to pay $1 million over the next year to settle claims it illegally charged residents for routine repairs and other services. The Colorado Attorney General did a year long investigation and found that company was renting to mostly college students and charging them improperly. The investigation found they also charged tenants fees that they didn't know about when they signed their leases talking about big charges too. Mm -hmm. Joining us this morning to discuss this is our Nine News legal analyst Whitney Trailer. Thank you so much for coming in. Sure, good to be here. So what about this was unlawful? Wow, well, <laughs> there's a lot, a lot of <laughs> Yeah, a lot to dive into. Right. I'm a little discombobulated this morning, but I'm getting myself <laughs> together. So, no, the the allegations according to the Attorney General's investigation were that they were charging for fees that were not disclosed in the lease agreement. Mm -hmm. They were also maintaining the security deposit for improper purposes. And so, for example, they were charging tenants for changing the access code, uh, for rekeying the apartment, um, tightening door handles and toilet seats. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, a number of things that were not disclosed that are, are essentially routine maintenance that an apartment should cover. And so they were keeping these security deposits, they were charging for these fees, and they were really, you highlighted in the beginning, they were, they were targeting, most of these were college students. And, and the attorney general said during his investigation that they're vulnerable, they don't, they don't know how to advocate necessarily, they don't know their rights. So those were the allegations that led to the settlement. You're talking about the AGs investigation. Is it normal for the state's top prosecutor to get involved with something like this? No, it's not normal. Although this AG, Phil Weiser, has been very active in part because of some new laws that changed. So in 2022, he was given the right to then go after uh, unscrupulous landlords, if you will, to protect tenants because they were getting so many complaints. And so particularly the DA in Boulder was getting a number of complaints from students, from CU and from parents. So it was, he actually went to the AG and asked for this investigation. And so after a year long investigation, this is the, the result. And, and I will say that Four Star yes. Realty, I didn't see uh, their, their full statement, but they said, hey, we didn't want to litigate this. We were, it, one of the points that they made is we comply with industry standard. So they said if there's changes, they need to be made industry wide. We're not unique is essentially what one of their statements. I think we heard from one parent who said it was like $6,400 security deposit right. that they yeah. kept. I mean, this is big chunks. You yeah. can see why the DA was hearing about this. So yeah. what rights do renters have? Well, the number one right is to look at your lease. Um, you know, and I get a lot of people contacting me about a, a, a dispute in an agreement or whatever. And I say, you always got to start with the lease because a lot of times our memories are are more favorable to us than, than we think. And so if you go back and look at the agreement, a lot of it's covered. So if there's an issue, make sure it's, see if it is covered in the lease. But then there's a number of renter's rights like warranty of habitability and things like this. So if the landlord is not providing sort of the basics, so if it's, as we're in winter now, if the heat's not working, right? You can withhold rent, for example, and get the heater fixed and you know there's all these kinds of rights so i don't want to tell people you know specifics but i will say look into it there's a it's very easy to find information on your rights there's a lot of law firms that sort of break it down and over the last couple of years we've seen renters gain more and more rights and colorado yeah. is a very sort of renter friendly mm -hmm. uh state right and th and there's a lot of landlords that saying that's a problem it's difficult to do business because of the amount of regulation but then you get situations like this which was very outrageous so you know sometimes the actions require the regulation that's why we want to educate people on their rights so they don't get taken advantage of like yeah. this yeah. all right well whitney thank you we appreciate your time sure. let's get a